So that's up to 60. And I'm maybe giving it a little bit. Oh, petrol. Um, that's another thing. You don't need a lot. I mean, I might fill up in um, Tavistock. So here we're coming through to Dartmoor. Where I'm in England now, so I'm... Uh, I was joking today that... I was joking today that I have to go over to Tamar Bridge. Um, and as a Cornishman, obviously I'm leaving Cornwall, so that's always always an upsetting thing for a Cornishman to leave Cornwall. But I did wonder whether I get nervous, not because or a strange emotion inside because I'm leaving Cornwall, whether it's just because someone's taking money off me for the toll on the bridge. And as a Cornishman, we don't like getting rid of money. That's a nice looking thing, isn't it? Um, so yeah, now we were up here for the snow. The one on my video where we were making igloo was up here. So you might not recognize it, or you might. But it's absolutely beautiful day. It's a bit, bit, still a little bit fresh. But I've got Lungi Johns on. So. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing today. I mean, there is no better feeling than riding a motorcycle. I always put riding a motorcycle down to like, Riding your lovely lady, riding a racehorse or a horsey flat out, or riding a wave, all of which I like to think I perform equally as well. Well, I've managed to hang on to a gorgeous looking Argentinian for seven years. Not that I'm going to say it's just because we have a great sex life, it's because um, I'm nice. But anyway, we, di we digress and we get away from the awesomeness that is the Dullville. It, it really is the best bike. It really is the best bike. No matter what people say when they see you, a fucking Deville? What have you got a fucking Deville for? And they're on an R1 and I'm riding, well, I don't know, been on what, 20 minute, half hour? I don't even feel like I've been on a bike for 20 minute, half an hour. All right, bearing in mind if you come Dartmoor, this is where we made the igloo. So if you check out our one making the igloo with the boy, it was up here somewhere. It was amazing. I love snow. I absolutely love it, but I hate the cold, if that makes sense. But we were up here where these cars were. So we went up, we went up sort of around there in the drifts. Obviously, you're on Dartmoor, there's fucking wild animals that drive slowly, you cocks. Um, no doubt someone will probably overtake me driving like a cock. Because if you hit a fucking horse, you'll know you hit a horse. I got told a story about a guy who hit a horse, and this was before seatbelts, and he reckoned he lived because the horse came over the windshield. He went through the windshield, and he just remembers hitting fur. So just whacking into fur. Follow the Rosa then, Death Wishes. Little puddle, couple of Death Wishes. We get death wishes coming down the bloody dual carriageway. Mental, ugh, what's that? Again, little bit of safety hint. What's that, guys? It looks like diesel or oil. I'm going for diesel, so just keep out of it. All right, he's obviously realized up here, or it could be engine oil. Whatever it is, it's pissed out on the road. We're right today, it's dry, but it could still be a bit dodgy. Little ponies, obviously you've got a nice civil. Yeah, look at that, look. So obviously you've got your usual hazards. Hazards. GG. I mean it's just it's just such a nice day to be out. And I mean look at what we're doing it in. A Deville. Obviously it's not a Kawasaki Z with all the comfort and the toys. But I tell you what, I'm still getting a buzz. I'm still absolutely fucking loving it. And I remember going out on the slab down Jamaica Hill after I had chemo and that was like what they call secret shifters you know it's positive thinking you attract what you think about and oh and the poo bomb from my videos is over there as well um, you attract what you think about I mean yeah it was up there I think the poo bomb was so I mean, there's just no need to fucking go like a lunatic is there I mean the Deville makes you do that anyway mate you behind me might overtake but What's the point? What's your hurry? I 
mean there is no hurry is there I mean look at it just look at it it's sunny it's dry you're on a Deville I don't have to be at work for a couple of days. I had a horrible time. My bloody client who doesn't wash nearly died because he doesn't wash. Can you honestly believe that? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I did a 12 hour shift in hospital and then it's a three hour journey time driving on top of that. I was fooked. So anyway, um, Mrs. Mr. Average we have here. They are so averagely good at everything. There isn't anything I can really say that they excel about. Maybe the unnickability. No, I don't think I've ever heard of people nicking a Deville. No, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone nicking a Deville. Look at this dickhead. Look at that, really? Fucking silly car. Silly car. Oh no, I think this is where, oh no, that's not where, it was up there where the proof one was. There's a 40 mile an hour thing there. I've been doing 40 all day long without knowing. But you hit a cow at fucking 40 mile an hour, a cow or horse, you know about it. Christ, you, you hit a pheasant at 40 mile an hour. I hit a pigeon once. A bit of a jerry a nuke here, a fucking pigeon right in my chest here. Oh, big puff of feathers. And that was it. It is nice though, isn't it? It really is nice. So we go past Dartmoor Prison in a minute. I think the crazy are in Dartmoor Prison. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad I'm taking this out for a final jaunt. I hope you heal. It's just absolutely amazing. To saunter along like this, out of care in the world, and just enjoy it, you know? I don't even know what gear I'm in. Oh, look, is that a Mercedes 360 SL? It is a possibility. No, it's not, it's not a 360. But it is a Mercedes. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes? This is Prince Town, so called because Prince was born here. Not people might maybe know that. When you think, oh, why is he called Prince? Well, he named it after the town he was born in, because really, he was a Devon boy. So, there you go, a little bit of, little bit of Prince history for you there, having a little chat, look. She ain't doing any bug of work, but she's having a chat. So, we'll nip on and go down Tavistock. I wonder if there's a petrol station here. I'll get some in Tavi. There we go, this is Prince Team. This is where I got that really nice surfboard from. 40 year old surfboard I picked up and it was absolutely amazing. Oh, there's a Nana getting out. Oh, the new was older, the one who was helping him. Wow, oh, what a mind numbing job. One of these was on Grand Designs or something. I'm sure one of these was on Grand Designs. He bought it dirt cheap. Grand Designs? Don't know. There's some cracking houses out here. Obviously, none of, no one my age can afford to buy a fucking house anywhere because it's a shithole of a country. And there's a the prison over here. There's a the prison over there, look. We'll drive past it in a minute. We wave to convicts and say, Oi, buggers, you should behave yourselves and then you won't be in there. I wouldn't mind buying a little shed like that. Just checking my camera, make sure it's still going. Look out, sheep! Ah. There's the prison there, look, people. It'd be nice when the museum's open. I wouldn't mind going in the museum. Cracking bits of granite. Look at the fucking size of them. These lovely old buildings. It kind of reminds me of... Um, Aberdeen. There's the prison. Kind of reminds me of Aberdeen. The granite city in Scotland. Oh, I mean, look at it. It's just great fun being on the Deville. And the other thing is, tyres are cheap. Tyres are cheap and they don't wear out. None of these sticky stickies you're lucky if you get 4,000 mile out of. Jesus. 
I mean, I've had this for 14, 15 months. I swear these tyres look just as good as when I bloody bought, well, when, when the other guy bought them. It's just great. Uh, it's not the softest ride. It's averagely soft. Averagely hard. So, I don't know. I mean, now I'm just beginning... I'm just beginning now to feel... I'm just beginning now to feel that I've been on a bike for a long time. Oh, meet man. He's going to get a dead one. Mark, we get soccer school. Arr, come play footy. Nice bit of stone wall in there. There's a big quarry around here we found. Oh, it's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, pardon me. That looks like an aquifer or something running through there. An aquifer is something used to carry water, man-made. So, we're still going on. I mean, look at this. I've got my top open. And I'm loving it. I've got, I've got to say something about Weiss jacket. I'm really impressed with this jacket. I like the Dakar one, which might be my next one. But Weiss gear is pretty good, you know. Sort of a mid cheapish level we went in the bmw place and absolutely in stitches thousand pound for a jacket you have to be kidding me a thousand pound for a jacket 800 quid for a helmet 600 pound for a pair of bloody trousers i mean really come on people got people starving how can it be thousand pound for a jacket where's the, where's the oh there's the quarry up there we went in I might just pull over and see if we're still recording and whether I'm talking shit enough. So tell me what you want to know as I'm, uh, as I'm driving through places, you know. If you want me to tell you a bit of the history, tell me. And before I do one of these, I'll, um, I'll learn some shit to talk about. And a bit about Prince I was only joking about. He wasn't really born in Princetown. So now you're back in. Guy dears, you see a cattle grid, you're coming into it, you know that there's gonna be livestock, yeah? You don't need a sign to tell you that there's gonna be livestock and just use your eyes. Because you don't have to actually get a, an animal in the way to come a cropper. Bloody running over a cow shit on a blind bender put you on their ass. Actually, it's really good in cow shit, this bike. Maybe that's how they should sell them. The best cow shit riding bike on the road, because I rode through some hideous conditions this year. Absolutely hideous conditions I mean you've never seen never seen anything like it the shit I rode through this winter just continuous shit I rode through and it just never seemed to get any better and there you go yeah obviously not going quick enough for you am I oh dear look I'm doing 40 do you believe it's a 40 speed limit Tosses. Um. Sorry, a bit of Robbie Rage. See, I, I lied. I got Robbie Rage. Oh, she failed. She failed. I got Robbie Rage. Ah, they're professional walkers. She got sticks. I'll tell you a story. I was working on Martin Clunes with Martin Clunes as a runner when he did the advert about the cow milk when he was camping. Well, I was on that one with him. Fantastic guy. I can tell you stories about him. Lovely bloke. Um, we were doing that shoot and we had to stop like people walking up because they had to, he had to walk through some cows field. You wouldn't believe it, the farmer had some cows there that he had to walk through, so they had a vet to make sure the cows were okay. So, these people come up, we're like, oh, you can't go down, we're doing the filming, just hang on too far, oh, and they were chatting, oh, my includes, blah, 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 blah. So, she goes, he said, oh, she said, he said, well, where are you going? He says, oh, we're ramblers. Oh, he said, right. He says, are you one of those professional walkers? And she said, oh, no. Because he said, where's your sticks, me mate did? She says, oh, I haven't got them. She says, the, the professional walkers use the sticks. Oh. He says, he said, I suppose you could call me a professional walker. Oh, she says, do you do a lot? He says, well, he says, I've been doing it since I was free. And of course, we all pissed ourselves. And she just sort of looked at him. Which I just thought was really funny. A few little gravelly shits there, look. Mm. 
people there. I should play Wavy Davy, shouldn't I? See if anyone waves. We used to play Wavy Davy in the trucks. So we wave them and then just as they get past you go, fuck off. Like that, so it's quite funny. There's a, there's a little aquifer thing there. Obviously, because water running is energy. If you've got water coming into your place. Oh, I nearly knocked it. Did I get it? No, I missed it. See, a rock like that put you on your fucking ass if you're careful. So, tell me, people, what you want to hear. Tell me if you want me to test any other bikes and let you know what they're like. Um, I love these bikes. Oh, it's so funny. Even my MOT tester was laughing because he's just like, oh, another one. Oh, I just love them to death. I think they're fantastic for what they are. And, yeah, the styling is very difficult to say what their styling is. It's, um, 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 I don't know what I can say about the styling. This is shit. That is the biggest thing that's shit in the old one, in the new one compared to the old one. The old one was great. Um, I'm going I'm to stop, I think, make sure we're still recording. And I might just give you a little, a little bit of feedback as to what they are like to look at. Because they do look fucking hideous. So, gave a little blip then. It's so pretty, isn't it? Let's just squiz on here. It's a shame we can't see more because it's a bit hazy, hazy, hazy. But Cornwall's off down there. Tavi's over, where's Tavi? Oh, that's Tavi down there. Plymouth's up that way. Oh, here we go, look. I am pull over in here. But we've still got somewhere nice to look at. So. Oh, I'm going to get that every time the fucking car comes across. Okay, so. There it is. Um. The Honda DeVille. Oh dear. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. It's not what you'd call elegant by any means, is it? It's useful, but it's not elegant. It's no way elegant. So there's your shaft drive. And I mean, look at the corrosion. I mean, I've used this. I've used this on every weather you could possibly imagine. Even sleety snow. Okay. And it hasn't done too bad, but it hasn't done too great. Okay, you expect a bike to last and look a bit better after a winter. And there's some pretty shit designs. I mean, look at that coolant pipe running down. So vulnerable to stone chips. Okay. There are little things like that that do annoy the shit out of me, you know. I mean, they could have put a guard on it, but then that'd make it more expensive. Um... It's not much better from this this side, is it really? It's got a nice tone to it. It does have a lot of protection. I mean, if you bin this, underneath here, there's a fucking great big steel girder to protect you. From the back, it doesn't look too bad. A lot of people have said it looks quite nice because it's got a bit about it, but it's a bit of a fat arse, isn't it? So, I mean, layout of all the controls are great. It's got a temperature gauge. A must. If you've got a bloody water-cooled engine you have to have a coolant gauge i don't care what people say you have to have a coolant gauge it's got a dipstick which is really nice down there the abs shit is all under here okay the plastics have taken a bit of a shit a shit sort of time in this crappy weather in this country the screen this is just wank look at the corrosion in there this is you meant to be able to grab hold of it there and push the screen up fuck me that sees like you would not believe I think that headlight's quite vulnerable while we're there. The wing mirrors, you can't use any old standard wing mirror anymore on there. Although I suppose you could do because the plug's there. Anyway, um, you have to have these that are moulded in. Um, so they're really vulnerable. And these like to snap off if they fall over. Okay, so really shit design. Plus you're also putting all that force in here. Okay, so if it does go over, this takes it. This takes all that force through there and just pings everything out in the indicator. Not a big fan of big moulding indicators. I much prefer to see little sticky-outy ones. Um, everything else? 
It's a bike. Okay? It's not worth getting upset over, especially if it's a winter bike. Where is that fucking thing? It's weird to hear a plane. Look at that. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. It's just lovely. And there it is, the DeVille. I, I mean, what can I say? I mean, she's running Michelin's on there at the minute. So, I mean, I use them. I do use them. What are they? I can't even see. Size. Uh, you might be seeing size enough. They're made in Spain, Española. See? Okay. Okay, um, is there a size there? Yeah, 150-70s, 17s. So, semi-common tyre. All right, it's not like it's a hard-to-get tyre. Fronts. Ah, no pilots, are they? Fronts are running on um, 17s as well, 120 70s. So, I mean, yeah. But it's quite a hard-wearing, hard-wearing tyre. You've got your... You got your ABS sensor on this side. There's your ABS sensor on that ring there. Okay, so vulnerable to all the weather and the corrosion. I mean, it really is. I mean, I done a fork seal yesterday. I see a bit of tape. The pitting on the on there, they were advisories. And I look at the state of it. The inside of this stanchion on the other side is is fucked. So, and there you go. Look, what have I been saying about driving steady? I mean, it's. There are loads of things that, that that let it down. Okay, I possibly would like to see a better way of getting into these instead of putting your key in, flicking these. Colour-coded Givy box, it's great. But there are just quite a lot of things that make you like the older one. I do like the older one. So, this is my, hopefully, the best bike in the world. I know I said that about the SG, but this is the best bike in the world. Apart from little shitty things that can, can put you off buying a bike. They certainly, they certainly annoy me, you know. They certainly annoy me when things are like that. But I mean, you're really safe. Everything else will stay. You could bin this, I reckon, and not a lot would come off. You might leave, might lose a lever or two, but they're only going to be like six quid for a lever or so. And I mean, it's not a hard bike to lift off. I've got gravel here, so obviously we all have to be careful with gravel. What are we like for time? Fuck me, look at that. 45 minutes. 45 minutes, fuel's still the same. So. And that's it. That is a Honda Dolville. Hopefully the sound's come up. I had to buy one of these new soundy things, so. Oh, bollocks. Oh. Too busy yapping. I found neutral sometimes quite hard to get. Get some speed up, go over that. There you go. Um, just, I can't what I was going to say now. Hey, it's gone. I mean, it's not like you're riding a wet piece of licorice. The bloody slab is. Fucking hell, that thing's terrible. Cold tyres on that slab is awful. Whereas this is just... Oh, I just think it's great. But it all depends what you want. If you want to be riding a bike and you don't want to get off and go, oh, my wrists hurt, my back hurts, then get one of these. If you actually want to go whiz, whiz, whiz like a loon, don't get a Dullville. Or if you want to still go out in the rain and the shit because you have to ride a bike every few days like I do, because I have to ride a bike every few days, Holy cow, these are the bikes to get. And I mean, they're just good fun. Look at that, 55, 50 mile an hour. In the sun. Oh, it's just great. And I hope everyone's safe with COVID. Get your vaccines in. Let's get this shit over and done with. For those of you who's kept work, work, working for all this, like I am, working with brain injuries, and that's good. We love you all. We love our NHS in this country carers, everyone. Police, fire, all our services, people who pick your bins up, poo plant workers, everyone. So, maybe I should end this on a joke. Okay, I've got a joke for you. Why did the pervert cross the road? Couldn't get his knob out of chicken. Ah! Ha! Ah.
<laughs> oh, fuck me, I split myself up. Okay. Oh, guys, I've had a fantastic time with you. Hopefully it's all come out well. Hopefully you're not just going to look at a DeVille and go, oh, it's a blue bathtub on wheels. Because there is so much more to a DeVille than the looks. And I really do think that's why people don't go for them because they look so bad. I mean, you put this back to another 600cc, or sorry, 700cc bike, and it does not win anything for looks at all. Brakes are pretty good on this, actually. Should we see what they brake like? It's not bad, is it? Especially considering it might be a bit sticky because I've done that fork seal yesterday. And they put a second hand, um, second hand fork seal. They never do that. They put an aftermarket fork seal. False economy is 20 quid. Do the fork seal. Just go and buy a special one from Honda. It's a fork seal. Uh, here we are coming into the town of Tavestock. And here we are, you won't buy a house here cheap, you won't buy a house fucking anywhere cheap at a minute in this country. Mount Tavy Cottage, see? Yeah, there's a posh school around here, fucking hell it's posh, it's like Harry Potter school. That's a nice little place. Big old log there. I mean... I don't know, it's it's a very difficult bike to describe because it is so average. You don't go on and go, oh fucking hell, that thing's great because of it's comfy, it handles. It's just it just does everything you ask it to. Look at the fuel. Look at the fuel. We've just come all the way from Plymouth round to Tavi. We're gonna go back up through Tavi in a minute. And the fuel gauges hardly move. I need them to fill it up. I'm gonna sell it anyway, so I shouldn't really put any got a bargain bike. So I shouldn't put fuel, I make a bastard bike by fuel. It's not like you can't get fuel. I thought they were all parked, I thought, what's going on? Well they are parked, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Patterson. See if you can name what that's from. Yes, Miss Patterson. Kevin and Perry, if you can, remember. Oh. And this is Tavistock, my lovers. I think Fancy Drake was born here, you know? I don't know, yeah, I think so. So up there is where the posh bloody posh plate. Ooh, what's under there? Car. Horsey car or an old car? Oh, and now we're ready. I mean it's not the it's not the smoothest of engines and oh engine smooth but gearbox. I mean it's definitely a good thing having a shaft drive. Definitely a good thing. It's so much clean, well, not judging by the state of this thing's diff. But it's like I said, the guy who's buying it, you know, it's, it's an honest bike. I'm not hiding anything under polish. It is what it is. You know, it is an old, well, six, what's that, 2006? It was 14, 15, nearly 16 year old bike. Yeah? So it's a 16 year old bike. It's got no mileage on it. Which isn't always a good thing, you know? It's not always a good thing not to have any miles on anything. It's a, it's a comfy town bike, I tell you. I'd rather be on this than on a fast bike. I'd rather be on this than the slab. If I'm trying to go through town on the slab, it's like, oh, oh on the clutch, blah, blah, blah. Because it's a sports bike, whereas this thing is a nice comfy bike. Clutch is very light on these. I've always liked the clutches on Dolvilles. Always liked the clutches. Always, 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 always like the clutches. Oh, dead people in there. I see dead people. I see dead people. I love that film. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite funny, these bikes, because it's really funny. If, if people take the piss out of them until they've actually owned one, once the person's actually owned them, oh, my God, they, they, you won't, they won't slag them off, I tell you, unless they've had a bad one, like a lemon. Unless they've caught a lemon, and there's loads of lemons. There's loads of lemons out there. I've had lemons. 
I've had lemons. So this is the old market town. Well, is it market town? I don't know. Probably out of market. Tavistock anyway. Cracking architecture. Absolutely cracking. Look at that. I mean, it's just amazing. If you had to build that, it costs bloody millions to build that now. If you could find the skills. I mean, just look at it. Don't know who that geezer is there. Francis? Is that Francis Drake? I don't know, it might be. Bit of an old bit of an old wreck of something. The Abbey, I think it was on. Oh, oh, oh. See what I mean? It's not the comfiest of things. Uh, tell she's blonde, look, she's got a crossing where everyone have to stop with her, and then she goes and crosses on the road. Don't quite understand that one. Yeah, n never understood that one, you know. You have a crossing, they walk, like, up the road a bit. And then they don't. This is quite a good thing as well. I, fi I, find, the I find the throttle quite heavy on this one. Uh, it could be a cable getting a bit... Getting a bit squiffy. Could be a cable getting a bit, um... Tight. And that's another thing. If you're going to use a winter bike, put oil on everything. Okay. I know they say don't put WD-40 in here, but WD-40 is better than no WD-40. I know it washes the grease away and stuff like that. But I've been doing it for years on bikes that I take out in all the shit. And you think about the water that pours down them. I mean, it's got to be... Ah, there he is again! It's Francis Drake there, my lover. Yes. Oh, I've been told that today that I should, should be proud and speak more like a Cornishman because I tend, they couldn't believe I'm Cornish because I don't go, right, yeah, where you be go to later? Oh yeah, go Shawberry. Oh yeah, proper. But that's because I don't 